Kia ora and hello, my name is Katie Corson. I'm a lecturer in human geography, which sits in the School of People, Environment and Planning. And I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey into geography, which is kind of an unusual one. So I actually started out at a community college in the United States and had no idea what I wanted to do. I thought maybe international relations or possibly becoming a pastry chef. And it wasn't until I took my first geography course, cultural geography, and I was talking with the instructor and he's like, have you ever considered going into geography? I think you'd be really good at it. And that's what started me down the path that has led me ultimately to New Zealand. So teaching at universities all through my academic career and doing research has taken me to all different kinds of places. I've researched small island states and political development, geography education, and more recently, videography. And over the last six months, I've traveled all the way from the Cape at the very north of New Zealand, almost all the way down to the Catlins on the South Island for a really cool film and podcast series that I've been working on with some colleagues and our students actually. The film is to challenge land use classifications and how we think about and value and understand the relationships between people, New Zealanders, and the environment. Now I work at Mass University, the Auckland campus, with some really amazing colleagues in anthropology, sociology, politics, and IR. But this isn't about me and my journey, it's about your journey, and you've already taken the first step by clicking play on this video. Geography's distinctiveness is its critical perspective of the relationship between people and place or a range of environments. My love of geography stems from my love of travel, as I'm sure you can see by this video. Geographers examine how and why space and place matter in contemporary debates about all sorts of things because place is often at the center of disputes about resources, identity, territory, and uneven development. Our courses offer a whole range of topics about inequality, economics, um, geopolitics, consumption, and globalization. And one particular area that I'm going to highlight, which is geographic information systems, or you can kind of think of it like digital mapping or GIS is a unique component of our degree program. We introduced GIS in our first year human geography course through a story map activity. It's a really neat online map that almost functions like an interactive website. Then in my second year resource conservation and sustainability course, students do a semester long project creating story maps as a conservation management plan. And actually, last year, I had a student who told me after the class that when they went for a job interview, they showed their story map to the hiring committee and were actually hired because of their story map. So there's real world application for these skills and technologies that you're learning in our courses. And if you're really interested in GIS, we offer a whole suite of other courses within the geography program and across the university to give you the skills and knowledge that you need to be competitive in the job market. If you're curious, our first year course, which is called Society, Environment, and Place, but is basically an introduction to human geography, surveys a variety of different topics within human geography. So we talk about things like GIS and mapping, but also economic geography and geopolitics using examples from popular culture and film and TV and movies. We also talk about the geographies of food and food production, and we cover a little bit about migration and commemoration and heritage as well. In my course, we do field trips to places like local vineyards and work with environmental organizations putting the things we learned in class into practice in the real world. 
So head over to our website or check out our Geography at Massey Facebook page to learn more about the kinds of things that we do and the courses that we offer. Now, probably one of the things that you're most curious to hear about are the job opportunities within geography. This graphic represents some of the careers that geography graduates can get. This gives you an idea of the variety of careers that you can go into with a geography degree. Nearly all jobs in the geospatial or GIS industry require completion of a bachelor's degree, but employers are looking for students who not only have mad technical skills, but also understand the relationships between society and the environment. I want to briefly highlight some of our other programs within the School of People, Environment, and Planning. The first is social anthropology, the study of human society and cultures. Think of it as an extension of social studies, one that will equip you with ways of understanding what it means to be human and some of the contemporary challenges to humanity, such as climate change, responses to pandemics, just to mention two. Studying social anthropology will develop your understanding of ethnic groups and other cultures and show you how your way of life is just one of many possible ways of being human. You'll learn to challenge your existing beliefs and put yourself in others' shoes. Anthropology graduates leave Massey with a set of transferable research and analytic skills and an understanding of how culture and society matters. Here are just some examples of jobs that social anthropology graduates might be interested in. Next is sociology. Sociology studies the social forces that help shape who we are, how we behave, and how we choose to live our lives. Massey offers a unique suite of courses focused on challenging common sense assumptions, analyzing social problems, and contributing to a hopeful future. The sociology program recently created a whole suite of really cool new courses that are premised on really key questions that we are and should be asking. For example, what would your mom do with $600,000? Why are we asking that question? Because $600,000 is the average difference in income for a man and a woman in the same job in New Zealand over the course of their career. If you're interested in learning more about why that disconnect exists, check out the World of Work course. Studying sociology does more than just prepare you for a narrow specialty. Rather, it helps you to be ready to meet the challenges and opportunities of our increasingly diverse and complex society. Here are some examples of what sociology graduates do. Finally, politics and international relations. If we're to reduce the study of the two interrelated disciplines into one word, it would be power. Into two words, power and relations, or power relations. Into three words, power, relations, and the question of ethics. While some courses are distinctly politics and others international relations, many aim to bring the two related fields together giving students a well-rounded understanding of politics in different historical, geographic, and ideological locations. We want our students to understand what lies beyond and structures the relationships between nation states, between peoples, between worldviews. Students get a keen understanding of this when they're asked to create their own political parties and then hold a class election and everybody votes on them. Here are some of the options for politics and international relations graduates, including what some of our recent graduates have gone on to do. Finally, you might be asking, why Massey? Why come to Massey University? And I don't just wanna spout out or talk about my reasons or why I think you should come to Massey. Instead, I'll share some of the things that our students have told us why they like Massey, why they chose Massey. And these are actual responses from a poll that we took of our students. It has a great staff who are really supportive and do everything that they can to help students succeed. GASP classes are typically small with around 10 to 30 students which means that students get a lot of personal attention from their teachers. There is a Pacifica community at Massey. 
and it makes me have a sense of belonging and identity at university. Easy access to public transportation, that's always a plus. It's a very diverse place. It has been beneficial to meet people from other countries with different values and norms. Distance students never feel isolated. The online platform is incredible. Distance learning allows you to balance your personal life and study life. A huge number of courses are offered via distance, which means even if a class isn't offered at my campus, I'm still able to do the classes I'm interested online. So it creates a lot of flexibility. The pastoral support during the lockdown was incredible. I really appreciated a phone call from Palmy to see how I was coping and if there was anything they could do to support me. So that gives you an overview of not only geography, but the other GASP disciplines. Whether you are just finishing high school, looking to switch careers or get another degree, or you're just bored and want to have a chat about some really interesting current events, check out our website.